Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Eh, I know, I know, I know it's difficult, I know it hurts, pro Dybala, anti Dybala, the news of yesterday is and was shocking, mamma mia, what a news, Paolo Dybala will not renew his contract with Juventus. You have different uh, people on the, on the channel, but also in the Juventus community, the people that are happy and couldn't wait that that news was announced, and then you have the other one that are really, really angry and are not accepting that decision because they are saying it is a real big mistake. The other one they are seeing it as an opportunity. Two people but I can tell you one thing and a really honest thing, none of the people pro or anti Dybala wanted to hear one day the news that was announced yesterday because the anti Dybala they wanted him to do better because they were once dreaming of Paolo Dybala becoming the new Del Piero and then you have the other ones that didn't want to hear it because they were believing and still hoping that Dybala could come back to his level. Not None of us are happy, we can't say it, in our heart we are not happy. Guys, I will tell you, I uh, welcomed Paolo Dybala when he was 21 in uh, 2015, young boy, I saw him growing like a man, my son was doing the Dybala mask, I was buying his shirt. It's hard, we have to divide the heart and the brains, because my heart is emotionally attached to Paolo Dybala, who Picciriggio, I saw him 113 times scoring, 53 times doing asses, and I celebrated every single goal of Paolo Dybala, so of course it hurts and I'm emotionally attached to him, and then my brain is trying, trying to think rationally and saying, guys, I have to accept it, why? Because Paolo Dybala, eh, probably for X, Y, Z reason, eh, it was the end of a story, and better to see a happy player somewhere else than a sad player at Juventus. I will tell you one thing, it's a kind of management lesson and then we'll go into the news of the day. There are five stages of acceptance, the five stages of grief, of mourning that we are all in and the different supporters are in that different stages, there are five, I will repeat them, but whatever will happen, we will all at a certain moment accept the decision. Some people are in the first stage of that uh, acceptance, in that grief stage, the first, they are in that first stage, we are in the denial phase. Why? Because some people that are writing Beppe, it cannot happen. I don't believe that news. It's not happening. Am I dreaming? Other ones are saying, Beppe, is it still possible that tomorrow, in a week, in a month, Juventus will still renew Dybala? Is that possible? Eh, sorry guys, no. Go to that second stage of a moment of grief. Go to that second stage because faster you go to that number five, five you, uh, faster you will heal. That second stage is anger and a lot of Juventini are angry. We saw it yesterday on the Juventus uh, Twitch channel uh, when we heard the news a lot of people were spoiling Dybala, Dybala, Dybala. Ashamed. You should be ashamed. Disaster management. They are blaming the management. Allegri. Everyone is at blame. Juventus is a finish club why are you doing that they are losing him for free anger anger a lot of people in are in that stage and then you, there are already people in that third stage who is bargaining they are already telling me Beppe you know what if Juventus, if Juventus this summer they are bringing me X, Y, Z player, then I will accept it. Not now, but if they do their job, if they can show me that they can actually upgrade from Dybala, which will be really difficult, I will accept it. And then you have the fourth phase, uh, depression. The people that uh, they said, you know what, uh, bargaining or not, or whatever player will come, we will see. But at the moment, I'm sad. I don't want to see football for a, for a moment. Uh, at the moment, I want to be alone and think and go on YouTube and watch the videos and maybe hoping to a new world, a new shiny world of Juventus, but at the moment it's difficult. And then you have the acceptance moment, the acceptance where you said, you know what, it is what it is. I'm enjoying the new players or not, or maybe I'm really frustrated, but whatever, I accepted that Paolo Dybala is gone. Like uh, I accepted uh, all these players here behind me, Nedved, Del Piero, Ravanelli, Tacchinardi, all these great players, Trezeguet again, so on. The Marchisio that they left Juventus, at a certain moment you will have to accept it, you have to go through that. Guys, this was it for the management lesson that I wanted to tell you because uh, one day you will have to accept it. So you go with the intro, maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel, we go with all the news of today, we start.
Yes, indeed, it was a really long, long, long intro. Also, because yesterday, during two hours of life, we said a lot of things and opinions about Paolo Dybala. Adio Gioia. That's how Corriere dello Sport started yes, uh, this morning, actually. The front page, Adio Gioia. Farewell, goodbye to Paolo Dybala. La Juve scarica Dybala. Juventus is actually rejecting Dybala. They are saying go away because they said he is not anymore at the center of the project. In front, we also see uh, Manchester that is actually saying I want the World Cup I want to win the World Cup so he didn't yet qualify to World Cup to Qatar 2022 but he's already thinking about winning it Paolo non sei più al centro del progetto we already said that sentence a few times arriva bene he's not he's saying that Paolo Di Bali is not anymore at the center of the project why why is there a goodbye for a different reason is Tuto Sport saying the first one is because of behaviors Paolo Di Bala eh, behaviors we already repeated so many times you know what I'm speaking about Udinese celebration Trieste celebration and so on and so on and so on also you know the the kind of uh, deal that he had with with a non-professional agent and so on and so on the behavior of Paolo Di Bala that was probably not happy anymore of uh, Juventus then the injuries physical state of Juve of uh, Di Paolo Di Bala that uh, went like a like a downfall a downhill it was what it was more and more it was difficult to see Paolo Di Bala starting and finishing a season starting and finishing a game and also not present in the important parts of the of the season my question guys for you for the people especially that are still not accepting the news is what if in October Juventus gave Paolo Dybala 8 million plus 2 million bonuses and we saw the performance of Dybala after October so November December January February and already March with all the games that he missed with uh, some sparkling moments of course but actually so many times out of the project because he was not there and he was injured or not in top form how would you have reacted when Juventus management would have given actually 8 plus 2 million so making Paolo Dybala the most paid player from Juventus FC how would you have reacted was it actually a mistake of Juventus yes or no and then indeed the money the money because you, uh, Paolo Di Bala wanted a rise and we go from a few years ago when the, uh, Ronaldo was there from 20 million to actually today 8 plus 2 million that Juventus said no we can't give it we can't we can't believe it Paolo Di Bala is not at the center of the project anymore Vlaovic is there these were the, wor the words of yesterday sette anni di gioia e amarezza seven years of a really joy and happy moments but also really frustrating and sad moments we go from the Champions League finals but also the first goal in Supercoppa versus Lazio so many decisive moments the Braves versus Barcelona these moments will never be forgotten for Paolo Di Bala that is you like it or not a really important player of Europe Juventus, a really important name in Juventus that will always be there in history of Juventus. Tifosi, eh, tifosi non protestano, some are protesting, some are not, we said it, the divided supporters, and then the big question, who will take the spot of Dybala? That's why in the moment where we go to Gazzetta dello Sport, who's saying Dybala fumata nera azzurra. Fumata nera means a black smoke when something is negative, when the answer is no, black smoke, white smoke is when everything is going well. So today, uh, Gazzetta dello Sport, they decided to put Paolo Dybala on the ground with a Dybala uh, celebrating as a Platini, you remember? But this time with the Inter shirt. For me, a kind of disrespecting uh, picture, especially for the story of Juventus, because you can't put the celebration of Platini with Dybala that was actually celebrating and showing the history of Juve with an Inter shirt. It is what it is. And then they're seeing the black and blue smoke. Disgusting page from uh, from Gazzetta dello Sport. Of course, they are trying to, uh, to, to use the moment of uh, Dybala to Inter, but actually it's the same thing that Tutto Sport is saying with Dybala, Gioia Interrotta. Interrotta is a, a stop, a big stop, Inter with the world, Inter, a big stop for the Gioia to Juventus, showing actually Dybala with a hand in his uh, hair with the number 10 and then uh, already the new shirt of Inter. We go with the rest of the news because who can come for Dybala? That's the big question, especially for the people that are bargaining in that third stage of grief. Who, who will come, Beppe? Tell us who will come. We want to know now already in March because we have to accept it so tell us the names hey the names there are a lot not only for a one-to-one -one replacement because that will not happen it will be a new new Juventus in different roles and not a one-to-one -one swap for Dybala so don't expect a new number 10 that will be in the name of Dybala the successor of Dybala but expect a new Juventus 
They were speaking about Zagnolo. Uh, Zagnolo that uh, eh, at the moment is not even finding a starting spot with Roma since that Roma is working well without Zagnolo. Pay attention, didn't uh, renew his contract yet. Zagnolo is a Juventino. He's in the top priority list of Juventus. We already spoke about it. But then other names for the midfield. It's go from Sergei Milinkovic Savic, Pogba, Jorginho. Speaking about Lodi. Speaking about Emerson Palmieri on the left. They are speaking about so many names. Raspadori. Guys, I tell you. One thing is sure, Juventus will do a big, big, big Mercato. Mercato will absolutely not sleep. Pay attention for the summer. Remain on the channel. Subscribe now. Put the notification ring on if you don't want to miss any news. We're speaking about Rudiger and so on for the defense. Rudiger, Bremer, pay attention. Pay attention. R Raspadori, yesterday, Carnevali, sportive director of uh, Sassuolo. He said, we already made some deals with Juventus. If they want Raspadori, eh, we would be happy to do still other transactions with Juventus, why not? We would be happy for Raspadori. Pay attention because in January we already said no to a lot of Premier League clubs, so it will not be easy. But if we are, if we have to negotiate, if Raspadori wants to go there, why not? Raspadori, that is an offensive player that is playing on the left. Hey, Raspadori. Chiesa and um, Vlaovic up front can be a real uh, a real young young future offensive trio Raspadori yes or no let me know in the comments and then Allegri Allegri is dreaming about Mo Salah that means that Chiesa will be on the left without Raspadori Salah on the right and Vlaovic on top guys I don't believe in Salah let's be honest between you and me at the moment I am in a denial phase for Salah I don't want to dream too much but you know that everything can happen in football I always leave the door open. Allegri dreams about him. Agnelli wants to dream about him. He could be the name of the rebirth of Juventus, of a shiny, bright future Juventus. Mohamed Salah that is in his last year of contract with uh, Liverpool next year, so end in 2023. He wants to come back in Italy. He loved Italy because he played at Roma and Fiorentina. Pay attention to Fiorentina. You know that guys a dream more than a dream no at the moment it's only a dream but i'm sure that we will continue to hear about mo salah eh, pay attention feet on the ground and try to think a bit rationally at the moment it will be difficult but even corriere de la, de la sera corsera is saying uh, the, the the really forbidden dream of Allegri is called Salah. Salah on the right, mamma mia, Chies on the left, mamma mia, Vlaovic on top, 4-3-3, and let's go for Juventus. We continue with uh, another name that could potentially uh, start in the first team, and the successor maybe, the only possible successor of Dybala is not out of the club, but he's already in the club, and he's playing now, he's training with Argentina, his name is Matias Sule, I expect to see maybe a Sule playing a bit more more with the first team, maybe already now until the end of the season, depending on uh, what and how Dybala will react to that news, will he be able to finish the season with Juventus or uh, actually securing his legs and staying on the bench to be sure that he has no other injuries. Let's see what will happen there. Moisken, eh, because people are saying yes, but it's disgusting Beppe, because they refuse the big salary, the renewal for Dybala, but then they will give it to Bernardeschi, they will give it to uh, Rabiot, they will give it to all the people. No, 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 no. No, 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 stop, stop. Dybala is the first one because it's a really big name. We've changed strategy and it will be apl applicable for everyone. De Ciglio, Quadrado, whatever, call it, and even uh, uh, Bernardeschi because Bernardeschi he wants a four-year deal. So Juventus will say no. Eh. Or you lower a lot or no. At the moment, Federico Bernardeschi is more out than in. Moisken is also at risk. Juventus will try to negotiate with uh, Everton to give him back to Everton to stop the deal because uh, Moisken can didn't perform as Juventus was expecting it and then Arthur because I told you a new Juventus will come Arthur Arsenal will try again they tried so much in the winter they will try again for Arthur Arthur Arsenal why not can be possible and then that's when we are speaking about Pogba Jorginho Meninkovic Savic but first selling and then taking back new players guys uh, the new calendars has been released Juventus Inter will be paid on the 3rd of April it will be a nice game 8 45 p.m italian time and then you have also the rest of the dates that are communicated we finish with tomorrow's game and important i know it's an international break but tomorrow juventus women is playing in champions league they are playing versus lyon one of the best teams from the U juventus from the women uh, sportive football club lyon is on top we were eliminated a few years ago versus them in an elimination round of champions league 
Will Plate and yesterday Capitana or Capitano Saragama was saying we are there for the big challenges we are made for the big challenges and we'll try to win that game I will be on the Juventus YouTube channel for a watch along for that game guys I hope you enjoyed that video I really hope you enjoy I know it's a sensitive part guys please maximum of likes subscribe to the channel grazie forza Juventus